obviously insane In a perfect situation I let love down the drain There's the pitch, slow and straight All I have to do is swing And I'm a hero But I'm a zero Hungry nights, once again Now it's getting unbelievable Cause I could not have it better But I just can't get no play from the girls Good morning, Liberty North, and welcome back to Cana. Today is Wednesday, December 10th, 2014. We have your announcements as well as a spotlight on the first hour 3D design class. We have some more Heritage Middle School students in the studio with us today. Thanks for being here, guys. And I will have a look at the rest of your weekend weather later on the show. Well, let's get this show started. Your net news starts now. Let's start off with your announcements. The North Nation Station will be having a one-day sale this Thursday, December 11th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. You will get 25% off your entire purchase. Currently, 575 students owe library fines. All fines max out at a dollar per item and will be donated to the Salvation Army. Please be sure to check your email or the list outside the library to see if you have a fine. Sophomores and juniors, if you took the PSAT in October, the results are in. You must attend a mandatory session that explains how to read your scores. You will also get a copy of your scores at that time. You have a choice between two sessions, December 10th or December 11th during Eagle Hour in the LMC. Seniors and seniors, the ASFAB test has been rescheduled for Wednesday, February 11th. If you have signed up already, you will get a reminder notice before the test. Students, if you registered for the December 13th ACT, Please be sure to print your admissions ticket. You must have your ticket <laughs> and form ID to take the test. If you are still undecided about college, please sign up and Family Connections to attend the Still Undecided Boot Camp during Eagle Hour, December 12th. Fuller Plunge will be held January 31st. Any Liberty North student or staff can participate to support the Special Olympics. Let's take a quick look at that. <laughs> Please remember, if you are interested, to attend an informational meeting today during Eagle Hour in Mr. Davis's room 817. That is all we have for your announcements today. Let's send it to this week's World News Wednesday. <laughs> Good morning, Liberty North. This is your World News Wednesday, and I'm your host, Lindsay Downey. First, let's start off with a new discovery with surgeons who have found out that their patients are waking up in the middle of a surgery. The anesthesia has had a few chemical changes that aren't allowing people's bodies to stay fully asleep during a surgery. There has been a new health study that people have discovered to live longer. It's proven that more people who listen to any genre of music, smile, share, and laugh will help you be healthier and live longer. They say working out and eating healthy is, the best, is a part of it, but happiness is the best way. In the news, the United States has special forces tried to bomb ISIS and hit them from 22 meters away. Bombing went off and left the city of Kobani, Syria in ashes. Fires are walking through the town that has very little left, trying to see if they can find any lead on ISIS on constant guard. That's all we have for your World News Wednesday. Let's take a look at this week's Spotlight. Essentially, what we had to do was we had to get a piece of wood and some wire and create a uh, human form uh, in some abstract way that depicts motion. Um, so for me, I just made a guy who was about to fall, and then what we did was we covered it in plaster, uh, we then coated it in black paint, and then used some metal rubs so that I gave it kind of a metallic look to it. Uh, I was trying to, try to do it as a goalkeeper over Manuel Neuer because he won the World Cup and won the Gold, won the gold Glove. Well, um, I'm just naturally the kind of guy that 
does everything different or tries to find the, the one road nobody else takes to get to the same destination. And so everyone else is using productive, uh, positive kind of poses like yoga or spinning or they're flying or something like that. And so I was like, well, I could make someone just falling. And so that's what I ended up doing. And then I added this ledge right here to kind of depict he's going into some black void of nothingness. My favorite project was probably the clay bowls that we made at the beginning of the year. The only real struggles that I really felt were um, uh, one, finding a pose that you really wanted to do and really liked, or uh, uh, what is it, working with the plaster on the wire because the wire is coated in oil so that it, it's more malleable. Okay. And um, so it gets really slippery and it just falls everywhere and mm -hmm. plasters everywhere and it's a nuisance. So really just getting the plaster on was okay. the most difficult part. Uh, my favorite thing about the class is that you can make whatever you want. Like you have a project but you can do whatever you want with it. Well with each lesson there's specific vocabulary and things that we are going to be focusing on. Um, but really at the end of the day what I want the students to learn are many things about themselves mm -hmm. and how they see themselves in the world and how they perceive art and that they end up valuing artwork and what they put into it and what other artists are trying to express. Thank you for that spotlight. In your weather today the high will be 39 with lows reaching down to 36. For your Thursday tomorrow highs will be up to 46 with the low of 41. And for your Friday to kick off your weekend the highs will be all the way up to a comfortable 55 with lows reaching 48. That's all I have on weather today. Sam over to you on sports. Thanks, Sean. The Liberty North women's swim and dive team kicked off their season last night in a dual meet with Ray Peck and Liberty. Hannah Engelman notched the Ingles' first state qualifying performance of the season while also placing first in diving. Other event winners were Rachel Kirch in the 500 free and Sarah Philpott in the 100 breaststroke. Also, the 200 medley relay of Jessica Edlin, Caroline Adams, Jacqueline Edlin, and Kaylee Clausen took first. The Eagles defeated Ray Peck but fell short to Liberty and are now one-to-one -one on the season. They will be back in action this weekend at the Winnetonka Holiday Invite at the Gladstone Community Center. The Liberty North men's basketball team beat St. Joe Central in a close matchup to the end. Liberty North basketball continues to play in the Liberty North Invitational for the next couple of days. Now let's send it to a basketball promo. <laughs> We'll be back here tomorrow with another edition of K-Men. Until then, we will catch, catch you on the north side. side.